My name is Peter Brecher. I'm one of the grandchildren of Nick Pasparelli, who was the founder of Pasparelli Pearling Company, our family business. Together with my brother, I'm responsible for the distribution of the pearls that we produce, which includes the grading and the valuing and uh, international distribution. We've been farming pearls since the uh, late 1950s, but prior to that, my grandfather was involved in the pearl shelling and uh, natural pearl industry. And in fact, prior to him, my great-grandmother was a dealer in, in natural pearls uh, as far back as the 1920s. Three of her children uh, entered the natural pearl business, natural pearl and pearl shelling, which they did for the next 20 or 30 years until the demise of the Australian natural pearl industry. The Australian natural uh, pearl shelling industry and natural pearl industry was, was thriving for about 100 years from about 1850 to 1950, but there was overfishing in the pearling grounds and the development of plastic substitutes for mother of pearl products led to the demise of the industry by, by about the end of the Second World War. At that time, my grandfather decided to try to adapt some cultured pearling techniques to the Australian South Sea pearl oyster, and he set up some pearl farms in the Northern Territory, and uh, that was the kind of beginning of the beginnings of the company. All of my generation, my brother, my sister, all of my cousins, all of us worked on the in the production side of the business when we were younger. Some of us, such as myself, you know, was longer ago than than for others. I think it's that experience that really kind of cements the passion that each of us has for the industry and for the product because it's a really wonderful business and a, you know a beautiful part of the world. This is a picture of my grandfather on his lugger in his hard hat suit taken around 80 years ago. And you can see here he's wearing the old canvas diving suit and the weighted boots and breastplate and the helmet. And interestingly, this is his sister, Mary Dacus, was also a master pearler in Broome before the war. What else you'll notice on this boat is that there's um, not much other technology whatsoever, probably no communications. It was very, very rudimentary. In my family, we also like this picture because it represents the change between the old industry and the new industry. This was just a few years after my uncle Nick joined the company. And this is a shot that was taken as Nick was selling one of the luggers from Darwin down to the 80 mile beach in search of wild oysters, which was, um, you know, it's a long way to travel in a little wooden boat, but, um, you know, it takes a really adventurous and um, pioneering spirit to, to do that.